Hello again. Well, wind blocker off today, at least for the moment anyway. And I'm a little bit deliberately later out. And the reason for that is it's Paul Barchock's funeral today. It's procession anyway, and the funeral. And um, I want to make sure I catch at least a little bit of the procession that's going to go along the seafront and stop outside his old pet shop in the Triangle. From a respectful distance, of course. I'm not talking about going up and filming directly into the hearse or something, but I want to try and catch a bit of that. So I deliberately came out a little bit later. Look, they've got rid of that bush. Remember I was saying I wonder if they were going to do it? Now that, that is how I remember it. When they first did it and put it in, built it like that with the uh, rocks, the rockery. Yes, much better. Now we'd start up up there on our skateboards, come all the way down around here, turn the corner at an incredible angle because we were so skilled, about seven, eight years old on our skateboards. Follow that curb all the way around and then come out down the other side there. That was fun, many an hour of fun when we were eight years old. The only problem with it though, is you only really learn how to turn left and not right. <laughs> Still standing. Anyway, just fill you with my latest big piece of news. Got in from my walk yesterday and my phone started ringing. So I answered it and it was unbelievably my dentist informing me, or his staff anyway, informing me that my teeth had arrived safely and that I was booked in for a proper appointment, not something off the books where he's coming in specially to do it and there's no nurse, but a proper official on the books appointment for next Monday. So hopefully there won't be any more problems. Everything will go to plan. And Monday will be the day I actually walk out of the shop with my teeth. So fingers crossed, that's all I can say really, fingers crossed, and it is what it is. But I'm so glad they eventually got back to me. Teen Street, Northumberland Place up ahead, and of course the main pedestrian street through town. good news about that Timoth hub place it's opened up um, as I sort of alluded to I thought maybe there'd just be nothing happening there at all but apparently they're doing some of the youth of Timoth I saw this on Facebook it's also in the window here you go I'm putting it up across me now so it's being used for something keep them off the street whether or not they take them up on it I don't know but it's good to hear or see that they are trying to do something for the youth of Timoth excellent there's relish in Northumberland place. I've said to Adam, as soon as I've got my teeth, I'll come in and show him. Ha <laughs> ha. Just have a cheeky peep down at the fish key, which has got a very, very low tide today. I can see from here. Oh yes, look, very low. Not only can you get down to the um, green pole, you could also sort of go further almost. Alan's boat, present and correct. And of course the two fishing boats. And just look how low the tide is here at the back beach with the um, dredger. Normally that's up level with the top of the uh, jetty. Yes, a lot more beach available today than usual. Very low tide. How nice not to have the wind, really is pleasant. Had it been a little bit warmer, I would have brought the drone. Not that it's too cold for the drone, but I don't fancy taking my gloves off to operate it, because it's still chilly for my hands.
Yep, look how low down that is. Crazy. And there's nobody docked today in the docks at all. There is a local seagull surveying all the expanse of beach available for it to go and mess about on. Just look at it. Wow. That is indeed a low tide. Now, for some reason, on the 25th of July, 2012, a load of ladies put their bras on over their t-shirts and walked around at night for a bras under the stars event, according to the paper. Not quite sure why, but um, it was here. This photo was taken. You can see that building in the background. You can make out that building over there. Here we go, bras under the stars. Like I say, I wouldn't normally put that sort of picture on here, not because it's brass, because you've got no real context to it. But you can just work out, I looked at that and I thought I recognise where that was taken. So there we are, I've put it in today's. It does seem quiet and sombre today. Just enjoy the peace and quiet, lack of wind. Lovely. Ferry just docked there in the distance. There he is. That's new, a couple of pieces of perspex there to keep out the water when it rises up. Not seen that before. This little dog on the beach there reminds me I've got to look out for a pug in a pushchair. One of my subscribers said they're down. I thought they weren't down for a week or so but I think they're down at the moment. <laughs> Miscommunication on my half. I'm trying to keep everything straight in my mind. But I keep an eye out for a pug in a pushchair. Oh yes. thought to myself that I'd walk along the beach here which is not something I usually do, but I started doing it when we had all the uh, storms and all the sand moved. So uh, as we're almost back to how it normally was or should be, I'll have a little wander along again. We'll see that hut at the end that was nearly demolished completely. Well, here we go. We're nearly at the bit that we were filming before a lot. Oh, look, they've put a, a new deck there. Where's that the old deck? I can't remember now. <laughs> no, it must be the old one. Because it's still got all the stuff there. Oh, I don't know, I can't remember. I really can't remember. I'll have to check my old footage. And there we go. This is more like what it's sort of supposed to look like, if that makes sense. What it normally looks like. Nice big pile of sand. The uh, wall all but disappeared now, back underneath the sand, apart from just at the end there, which is normal. Those of you that are really, really, really regular viewers remember me flying a drone down here one day and standing next to a thing which was chest height. And um, then I showed you it a few days later where it was sort of knee height. Well, there he is now. That's what I was standing on at chest height, resting my drone and bag and that on the side there while I was flying. So that's certainly changed a little bit. Good old Ness, still standing. And I've just had a, a message from the lady who owns the pug in a pushchair. She says, yes, Bill, we are down here. 
So that's as much as I've read of it on the phone because I've got these gloves on. I don't want to open it all the way and then find that I've lost it completely or I've cancelled it. I'm not great with phones, to be fair. I use them as a camera, yeah, but I do all my, um, do all my messages and my work and that on computers. Nice big screen, mouse and keyboard. Lovely. Well, I did manage to check the message after all that from the pug in the pushchair lady. And uh, she says, yes, they are down, but they're in Dawlish Warren. However, they're going to be down tomorrow. So I'll drop her a message later on saying I'll be on the seawall in the morning. And we shall see whether or not I can find a pug in a pushchair. And why not? I found a, a boo-boo in a stroller. <laughs> That's a new wall built very recently to help with the flooding on the back of the lifeboat station. It's funny really, I walked past it a couple of times and it's been built and I didn't even notice it was happening. And then I saw a picture on Facebook, I thought well that's the lifeboat house, I never saw that and lo and behold, and I've forgotten about it again until today when it's all finished. Crazy. Right, we're going to head out the point car park now, see if we can find the funeral procession. It's certainly a tad windier here on the seafront. I think I'm going to put the wind blocker back on for you. There we go, how's that? Any different? Hope it is. Seagull having a whale of a time with something down there. Still standing. We've only just another one of those rays coming out of the cloud shots that I like, but not one of the more spectacular ones in fairness. I believe we have Paul making his way along the seafront towards his old beloved triangle pet shop. We shall go down and see the crowds in a minute much loved Timoth character. I'm not going to state that I knew him really really well or he was a personal friend, he wasn't, but um, I was aware of him and I knew him and I interacted with him and um, in a way gonna miss him. What a shame. Thank <laughs> you. 
Of course, many of the people heading in this direction will be heading up to the Catholic Church for the funeral, which is taking place in approximately 20 minutes. One last glimpse of Paul as he makes his way along. Head up to the Catholic Church. And on that somber note, I need to make my way up to Liddles before heading home for Mum. And in keeping with the sombre tone of the video, I'm afraid to announce we've also just missed a train. <laughs> so, never mind. Anyway, all good. Hopefully down the seawall tomorrow. Should see plenty of trains. So thanks for joining me. I want to say I hope you enjoyed it, because, <laughs> well, obvious reasons. But thanks for joining me, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.